Hello YouTube, this is Killer Frog and welcome in a new campaign into Rome 2. This time it is DEI. You finally got it. You voted massively for it. So there it is. Also, um, you voted very closely for Pagamon to be the faction that we'll play with. Uh, it was really close, like 1% from Epirus, if my memory is right, and like 2% of, uh, I think, uh, the Moria right here. So, it is a pretty close vote. But overall, this is a faction that will play. We have some nice traits, we have the Greek knowledge, a nice 5% bonus on the research rate, we have some cultural conversion from the classical heritage, and also we have decreased building costs with the very good bonus, diplomatic bonus with the Hellenic factions. So hopefully that will help us to have some friends over here in Hellas instead of more enemies, because I feel like really early on we'll have to fight with uh, the Seleucids and their puppets. So yes, this is pretty much it. Also, I decided to play at our difficulty because I'm not really familiar with that mode. I kind of wanted to play normal, but then no, the other part of me wanted it to be a little bit more challenging. So we will play at hard, and apparently this is a hard start. So yes, I guess I guess we'll know about it really soon. Also, we have the military underdogs that increase the non-military recruitment cost, so mercenaries will be a little bit more expensive. So, without any ado, well, I don't think I will read that, of course, but you can take a little look at to the victory conditions if you want to. You can just pause it, and uh, I'm not really sure what we'll try to do. I think we'll try to build up an empire into Antonia, and then we'll see uh, if we can expand it somewhere else. So, without any ado, I'll join you on the campaign map. Yours is a land of ancient legend, the country of Troy and the Iliad. Your heritage offers little protection against foreign invasion, however. You must defend yourself or be destroyed. Basades to the east, the decadent people of Croesus, are your principal foes. Seek allies. Both Bithynia to the north and Rhodes to the south are predisposed towards you and may be amenable to military cooperation. Further allies around the Aegean will be hard to come by, so maintain your defenses especially against the larger regional powers of Macedon and the Seleucids. Destiny awaits the people of Pergamon. The world shall be yours. Alright. Welcome back on the campaign map over here. Well, basic starting uh, the objective. So what we'll start with is... Well, of course, recruiting a few troops. And that was the other pop-up that I just uh, closed. I guess it was a DI pop-up. Okay, I won't go through all this. So let's recruit a few stuff. Over here I think we'll start this quickly with some pikesmen. Pikemen are quite good and uh, we'll go with some oplites. And I think yeah we can only recruit two of those. We will also start this by... I think if we can have a good spy it would be great. Can't have much though. We're not sure which one is the best one. I feel like the line of sight will be it. It will be it for now. What do you wish of me? So we'll start this by spying over here. Do that nice marble. And they have the... Uh, yeah, we can't see it, but they have the unique building up also. Uh, we will also go for some food, because I think food will be an issue soon enough. And also, I think we will replace maybe the general. Uh, how old is he? Yeah, it's pretty old, so we will just replace him with the ear, which is uh, that there. No, oh yeah, there it is. With that guy over here, oh 62, not the youngest. I think we'll go right here directly to uh, Humanist the second. He's pretty young, and at some point he will be uh, the king. So I think we will immediately start to on. to work on that character. Right. Uh, Kind of lost. Okay, there it is. So where is he? Uh, is that you? Just need to find him at this point. Are you hiding? There you are. You have a whole lot of stats, <laughs> like minus four for public order and bonus four. So yeah, it's kind of even out. Uh, all right, we'll take you anyway, and we'll go with, of course, some cab general because we'll need some uh, some basic cab. I think we'll go also for some mercenary before someone else recruit them. Like Riddle's Slingers could be good with some archers. 
And they are medium archers, so they have some armor. Pretty good. And I think uh, this is pretty much already it for the first turn. I think. Wait, I uh, already forgot. We can recruit maybe a, a few of uh, of diplomats or noble woman. Some growth could be good. I'd like to have some uh, someone working on the public order. How can I serve the people? And another one working on. Well, taxation could be good. Yeah, you will be the one increasing the tax the taxes, so that will do. And we'll start this. I think we already have a tree somewhere started. Yeah, that one. Yeah. So I think we'll go with construction and we'll immediately uh, spend five turns to have some uh, sanitations and also some growth. So that should help. And we'll start this uh, right now. Maybe. Wait, wait, wait. Again. We wait again. I'm a bit in a hurry. We can have a few trade partners. Like the Bithynian. The blessing of the Olympians upon you. Alright, what if we offer some money? Well, it's not a whole lot matter. though. I must refuse. Let's offer them this. I have How about... No aggression pack? No, we already have it. And let's try to have other deals then. Alright, never mind. Alright, it's good. Let's end this turn. And we shall see what will happen. The first objective, yeah, it will be to take that settlement over here. And as you, per usual, try to conquer our first uh, province. To have our edict and uh, some economy going on. Right. There we can start moving. Excellent. We will also use a spy over here. There we go. Yeah, they are starting to recruit a few troops. I think we will keep recruiting stuff. How much? Okay, 400. That's pretty expensive. I think we will recruit one more turn. Uh, let's complete a little bit our line. So yeah, we have some pikemen. I think I'll take another one. And... Uh, what will be good to complete for now? Maybe another Oplites? Oh, we could go for some more calf, but a bit cheaper than uh, the mercenary one. I think we'll go for this. And we will actually raise another army with another faction general. It will do. Alright. We have general, so that will have another cav uh, general unit to help us in that battle. At your service. Uh, what's your trade again? Okay, it's the growth and public order. That's fine. I think we'll bring you over here to keep an eye on that uh, border. Like so. And we'll do uh, basically the same, but over here. So that we'll have uh, some eyes around our line. We'll deploy the spy. Right, everything is good. And money is a bit tight, but I think we'll, we'll maybe raise another general. Just to, um, to be the governor general, actually. Who could it be? It could be you, so congrats. Okay, never mind. How about you? Okay, they are all more expensive than this one. I think I'll wait just to have some pikes uh, in the garrison. So maybe next turn, or when we'll have the money for it.
From chaos we all sprang, and to nothingness of course. you will return. Now we have Rodos that we wants uh, to it fight with us. Burn. That's fine. I think they will stay in there, on their island for a little while anyway, so I don't really bother with them. And I think they have another... Um, uh, I just have another status, but I forgot about the name. Um, another unique building into that settlement that will give us a faction boost. Like, um, that's the two over here. I don't remember the effect though. Like over here we can see that they have the unique building. And... Alright, I don't think they have such a big garrison. Our natives. I'm not too sure about that. So they have about 10 and... About 20 units. That's, that's a lot. Wait, it's 10, but they actually have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Alright. If we can hire maybe a few more men. I think with that mercenary mercenary unit, we should be good to attack them. Uh, we'll try our luck. Alright, let's hire you. And I will go broke next turn, but it's fine. We just need to... Uh, to loot a little bit. So yeah, we'll have to go at war with the, the Solicids. And they are probably at war with a few factions already. So yeah, we will maybe improve our relations with the Galatians over here. You allies have refused to join their side. This is fantastic. Alright, good. We will recall, bring up our general unit. And we'll try to do something with that. I think we're good. Uh, over here... Nothing too impressive, really. We'll have to be a bit careful to pick up the fights. But yeah, we should be good. Alright, so we chose that little location over here to actually defend in the middle. We have the pikemen. We have some uh, Oplites over here. The other unit of Oplites is there. Then we have some Peltas on that flank with archers over here. The Rodian. Slingers are kind of uh, on the front line over here. And we'll try to pick up a few units if we can. The general over is all the way over there, so I guess we'll bring him back. We we'll go over here. The fleet will deploy, I think, in that region, as they often do. So maybe we'll use our own general yes, unit on, with other cap to go there. By your command! Alright, we are almost there. Are they good or is it like a mob? I'm not too sure. Understood. We'll need to be careful, but I don't think, except the general, that they have in me any cav except those uh, skirmishers, but I'm not really afraid of them. They usually skirmish. I guess we'll pick up our first target. Let's try these guys. I think they expose their back. So, yeah, they will be vulnerable. Also, our skirmishers will go on guard mode. And for now, we'll play it carefully because we don't have the numbers. So we'll need to be mindful about our engagements. What's that? Some archers? I think the general unit can destroy that unit quite easily. And it seems to be uh, isolated from the, the rest of the formation. So maybe we can pick that one up. Nice and easy. Alright, let's bring the cav. We do have a few skirmishers over here that we can use. Alright, just need to be sure that both of them are disembarking. Alright, let's go up there. Well, I guess we'll go right in the middle since we can't charge. Come on, come on, come on. Riders at the double. Right, finally we can engage. Victoria, we'll also uh, increase our stats over here just to clean up this part easily before we take too many casualties. Let's try to advance a little bit with that cav unit. 
come on, come on, come on. Maybe both of them can kind of switch. Add some charge bonus. Not sure if that will do anything, but we'll see. Some time movements can help. Right, both of you on that one now. Should chatter quickly. We're not taking too many losses at this point. Good. Alright. Let's just wait a tiny bit so it can be officially shattered. Alright, I think that should be good. Should finish to break as we retreat. A bit like this. Fantastic. Now we can disengage. Go over here. And manage uh, that general unit. Well, I'm not too sure at this point. I don't want to get kind of ambushed over here. So maybe we'll use a cavalry to work in that area. With, uh, with both the generals and with, with four units of cav, I think we'll be good to manage that area. Alright, over here we'll pick up another target. And maybe the pikemen. Oh god, yeah, the pikemen, definitely. I just wait a little bit just to be sure that there's no friendly fire or anything like this. And since they are not really responsive, we'll try to use the archer too. Let's bring some pikemen to defend in case. Actually, everyone will advance. Alright, that will be good. We'll reform in time. Alright, you will go there, and our own general will go here. I feel like this is the last threat uh, threat on area, and we want to maintain uh, this guy alive. Alright, let's go here. Because at some point, that blob will start to advance. Something like that. Pikeman can go somewhere like this. One unit here, and the other one will be in the middle over here, between those buildings. And now it's time to start moving. Oh yeah, we're taking some fire, so... We'll bring everyone in. I'll try to be mindful. We'll go around to push the slingers or the, the archers actually in that direction. The machines will go for the spears. And the general can go for the other archer unit. Right, that blob is pretty much dead at this point. Let's try to go around with this Kermish Cav. I'm lucky enough, the general unit got engaged with the spears. So we'll retreat a little tiny bit and just fight uh, the archers in melee. Alright, they're bringing some pikesmen. Alright, that's good. Let's disengage. Wait a minute, we'll try to manage this. Wait, you get out. Both of those can go around. And come sure we'll keep picking up those uh, citizen militia. Right, all of those are starting to move around. So we will adapt. But that's fine, we'll chase down the, the archers at this point. Are they archers? Whatever they are. And over here we can see the there's a lonely archer unit. Uh, we are a little bit too late. Okay, they are starting to advance. Time to engage. Uh, build tests, build tests. Alright, stop this right there. 
Like men advance. Right, Rodian Slingers will go for the the uh, archers. And I think all the shock cav should be able to kill that uh, citizen unit over there. Alright, we'll bring some reinforcements over here. Wow, our fellas over there. Maybe we can try to uh, pin down the, the general unit. Over here, we'll turn around. Don't want to charge in with the general unit. Oh, actually, general unit have a nice opportunity. Let's just charge in. Oh, fantastic. There we go. That unit is dead. That one will probably suffer heavy casualties. Alright, let's just engage over there. Belt us, let's try to aim Pikes at those pikemen. We'll retreat with our Oblates. The nearest target those archers over here, they are hard to get. Uh, they Your kind of all mixed orders. up through that unit, I don't like that. Let's disengage with the shock cav. And the general will also give it a charge in it. And I think the charge, yeah, it's a rear charge, so that should be enough to break them. Yeah, fantastic, they're pro. The now our skirmishers get hunted them down. Alright, bring some support over there. Uh, over here, sadly, it's up today, so we'll try to retreat again. Where's the other pikeman unit? Right, grab the pikes. Retreating with those. Alright, that's good. General! I think those two... Right, let's charge in. Just finish that unit quickly. Then we'll go around. Uh, but that's all pretty much done, so let's try to support that unit over there. Archer is what the heck are you doing? That's a shame. Over here, that will be a nice angle. Pikemen will advance slowly. And we'll keep retreating with our Oblate days if we can. Hopefully they will turn around and kind of expose their back. Seniors turn around and support. Alright, let's farm up quickly. And there's some pikemen to support over there. Right, have units. Over here, there's a nice area that we can charge in and give a moral blow. We could kill the general unit though, so we'll go general on general. Pretty sure is go for the, the archer. Alright, let's try to help the general finish that fight earlier. I think we'll just charge in that unit over here. It should be easy to break. Alright, archers, take a better position than this. Actually, we'll bring the archers over here. We can uh, take that area easily. Let's try to focus fire. Can we go over there? I think we can. There's a massive blob that we can fight over here. Try to take a secure position and uh, we'll fire at uh, point blank physically. That needs the side of their shields for them, but we should be able to do something. What? Okay, the other general. Gotcha. I don't really care. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot him uh, in that engagement. That's on me. Commissioners, go around. Quickly. 
Right, and the yards are pretty much done, I think. Alright. Our usual, we'll chase them with the skirmishers as we start adding some pressure on that flank. Right, both unit charge those pikemen in the rear. Alright, we'll retreat quickly and charge in that area. Let's have a nice charge with those updates. Alright, we've seen better, we've seen worse. At this point we need to quickly uh, cycle charging. What are those? Okay. Archers, are you doing something good? Charge in again. Let's keep the seniors close by. General, uh, let's use some abilities. They are unbreakable. Alright, let's go. I don't know if that will do much, but we'll try. Alright. Judge again. Our Pac-Man uh, hard difficulties over here. Flanks are exposed. Then yours let's try to go in the in the fight. Okay, over here maybe we can break that unit. I'll just maintain those guys uh, in the fight until they break and they broke, so that's good. Let's retreat and charge again. So we kind of pinned them down for a little while with the seniors. Uh, yeah, we're starting to be in desperate time. Let's retreat with those guys. Come sure to get chase. I'd much like those guys to don't come back, so we'll try to chase them with the archers. Hopefully that will work. I think we can break that unit too. Finally starting to look a little bit better. Hopefully they won't turn around. Oh yeah, our cab over here is getting destroyed by the pikemen. That squad can reform with those pikemen over there. That nice blob, we just need to destroy it. Alright, they're turning to attack the cab. It's our call to retreat. Uh, let's attack the spike men. I don't want to fight them again. We don't have anyone that regrouped. Right, that's good. We'll walk towards that engagement over here. Nice flank charge over here. can pin them down a, a little while, that would be great. I think they want to go for the seniors. Finally, we got it. it was a close victory. Our losses are not too bad if we compare, but yeah, we took some losses. Of course.
course, but yeah, overall that went pretty well. The cavalry charge again and again and got many kills. Uh, some for the skirmishers that are just uh, they're just to chase down the units that were actually fleeing, so they prevent them to come back in the fight. And overall that went well, so that's on his victory. Alright, so there is the victory. Unfortunately, I forgot about that guy in the spear, so yeah, he died. But we will... Wait a minute. We could sack, we could loot. Oh, looting is a lot of money. I think we'll go for the loot, honestly. That will be very useful. I think we'll loot that settlement. Repairing it is uh, fairly cheap, so that was a good call. Well, except this. But overall, a lot of money will remain. And now we have in, uh, a positive income, so that is great. Commander. Our mercenary over here can go away because they're not that good anyway. They were, um, well, they were just manpower, I guess. Ready for over here can we have, oh, we could hire another um, archer unit, but they are quite expensive. Ready for so instead, I'd much rather have those archers. I mean, those archers. So we'll take a few of you. Oh, we can recruit a bit more. This is good. Uh, yeah, we'll take. They're pretty cheap. So one, two, three, four. That one will be five. I think we'll keep those guys. Honestly, they're pretty expensive. I'm not sure how much I want to keep them. And those archers have more range. They do have more missile damage. Wait to see if. Uh, can I see how much armor pressing they have? That's four. And those guys. Three. So for the difference being, I think I'd rather pay much less for my archers. I think uh, I'll say you goodbye. And instead we'll go with uh, our own units. But they were pretty useful to have early on. The Rodian Slingers, I think we'll keep them because they have massive range. And our slingers, I don't think they are that good anyway, in comparison, so... Yeah, we'll keep them. They have more range also. So yes, we'll keep them. And then we'll go afterwards for more spearmans and pikesmen to uh, increase our line. So, right now we're, we're, we are repairing. The spy can oh, go yes. spy somewhere else. So let's go there. The gods have we can go here and deploy. Here we go. The people need the wisdom of the gods. Don't have much over here, so that's some good news. And Lydia do have that uh, area, so we'll see if they bring some manpower over there. It was... I don't know if they start with this uh, Egypt in uh, AI, but... The Egyptians are there, and we trade with you. I so that's you a, a ten, but that's fine. Let's I'd be willing to trade. Gods, upon... Of course no one wants speak. to trade. Greetings, are you willing to trade now? Them. Mm, somehow Will you you're less you want well you want less to trade. Okay, so, somehow, somehow. I am to How about you? you. Okay. How about non aggression pack? Okay, that's interesting. Uh I just need a few friends, but apparently uh now's not the time. Speak yeah, and yeah, you don't want to. Great. Okay, that's fine. Maybe at some point I uh, will have a few friends, but it's not pronounced and, and it's fine. Upon that, we'll just focus on repairing stuff, recruiting more units, and advance slowly towards. Uh, is it Vecinus? Not too sure how to pronounce that, but we'll move towards that settlement over there. Then, after we can come back in that region where our next enemy is close by. At least Egypt kind of act as a buffer zone from uh, the Seleucids. And I guess they keep the Seleucids uh, quite busy also. Alright, so they, uh, they rise another general unit. And... But we have uh, a little advance on him. Let's go there.
Yeah, I think that will be the quickest route. Let's go there. We can recruit our uh, general governor. How about you? Okay, you have a reduction on the keep, not much, but I guess you will be good. Like over here, you are good. The reduction on the the, the construction costs with a better a better um, accession rate. Yeah, so we'll pick you. Some decent uh, a decent unit. Not sure, which one I want. I mean, that unit is pretty strong, but I don't fear any attacks soon on our settlements, so you will do. Let's hop in. Now we have positive public order, this is fantastic. And I don't think we'll recruit anything with you. Not yet, anyway. We can have more marble, so we'll do exactly that. Over here we have some money, some... Uh... Okay, we can have a bonus on the wealth from culture, more industry. And we have uh, more taxations in all provinces, bonus 5%, this is very good. And at some point in a long time ago, maybe we'll be able to upgrade that building and have uh, the double almost of uh, any bonuses. Or actually the third more, it depends uh, on which. But overall, this, this is pretty good. Alright, let's recruit a few more troops. Uh, we have enough manpower to have more archers. It's a good life. One, two, three, yeah. We went for two. And I guess some pikemen. They're pretty strong. And maybe we'll take more skirmishers because uh, they were pretty useful. I won't lie. Maybe Peltas too. Peltas can be a very strong if used uh, properly. Right, let's close this. Oops. Uh, I didn't really notice that, uh, that thing over there. So I guess we'll have uh, some traits for our general who just fought the battle. Maybe I forgot to took it, I'm not too sure about that, but uh, next time we'll uh, pick up those traits. If so far you're enjoying the campaign, feel free to give it a like and a subscribe, this is a great help and uh, yeah, it's really motivating also. And on the plus side, also, the algorithm of YouTube will promote that video more, so this is a very great help for uh, YouTube creators. And over here, Apollonia, we have a noble woman over there that is ready to have new traits. And uh, we'll give you some authority. What was that? Okay. Taxation. Yeah, I do want that, and I think you're the taxation lady. Is it you? I will know quickly. Yes, it is. We will go over there. And some taxations. Excellent. And it's the local one, so yeah, it will be our capital. So that is great. Over here, yeah, we're not ready yet. But who had a trait? Athena's faithful. Alright. What can you have? I think we want to have a more range to out... Uh, I'll shoot a hot shot. Uh, I want more range than our enemies. It's always uh, pretty useful in skirmish in the skirmishing phase, and also uh, some melee combat skills. So we'll go for that. We'll start with the archers, though. Commander. You're not recruiting anything there, so maybe we can wait one more time. That could be useful to have more more troops on the front line. Uh, who do we want? That's the question, though. Uh, we do have some money left. We'll have some Karyan X-Men. They do have a little bit of an ammunition to throw in their flanks. And they are local troops, so why not give them a try? They will nicely support our flanks. And they have absolutely amazing armor pressing because they are X-Men. So that will be very helpful against... Uh, Armored troop like Oplites, especially if they can flank and rear charge them, they can be quite useful. And of course those uh, little pillars that they can throw, they are fantastic. It's all more damage, so I'm all for it.
I don't know if we'll reach that element on the next turn. Maybe it will take one more, but we are pretty close the by. Bravery of men, of course, Knozos, now you want to join now. Rodos because you are aggressive and, and somehow reliable even if you... Well, I guess they are reliable, but we'll have to fight them at some point. And we'll need at this point, uh, if we conquer Rodos and Knozos, we'll need a fleet to uh, maintain our uh, dominance into... Uh, I don't know if they call this the Bosporus Sea at the time, but that area. Need to control the waters, right? Alright, over here we can start moving, I do believe. What's that actually? Is it good? Is it bad? Oh, it's... yeah. Yes. Not the best. 716. It's not the best, it's, it's not the worst. 15 armor. Well, they are light up the days. I think we'll keep recording our own. How much? Yeah, that's quite expensive. So maybe... We could recruit more, but... No, I think we'll just advance the... the, the they're not having anything over here. And we don't need that much range either, so... Let's move over here. Do some raiding, maybe? There we go. We'll have some more money. And uh, yeah, busy. That's pretty much it. Who wants some trades? Hila over there. You're pretty young, so that's great. You will be a great noble woman. Uh, what can I do for you? What's your skills? Public order. Is there anything for public order? There it is. I think we'll go on that route. Let's go here and we'll start with some conversion. So that will help us maintain public order and convert um, new territories to our culture. And we finally finished that research. So now we can have more growth, more sanitation, and more wealth from industry. Or 3% is it worth it to go there? At this point, I don't think so. Instead, we'll go over here. So we'll, we will enable the champions recruitment. And also, we'll go for the Olocideros Barracks. If the pronunciation is right, but I don't know. I'm not really Greek. So if you're great, let me know. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, we'll end this turn and we'll reach that settlement. Finally. Now Rodos wants to be annoying. I kind of get it. It's fine. However, I have no idea what they have, so maybe we'll have to fall back, make them run away again, and then we'll have to maybe recruit a few troops over there, but we don't really have the budget for it right now. So yeah, we'll see. What do you have? Uh, so far, that, that, that looks pretty good, what you have. Not gonna lie. We don't have much to defend. Um, what's the plan for now? We could... Oh god. Now B Bitinia decided to be annoying and took it. So we have no other choice but to fall back. And yes, in DI there's no force march, so haha. <laughs> Joke on me. We'll have probably to lose that settlement and take it back. Waiting for more orders. I think we'll recruit troops over there because I feel like um, if they take the settlement, we won't have those recruits, so we'll have it over there to win for us. We'll take some cav, and uh, they're pretty expensive. And I guess some light up the days to support us. 918. So, what's. I'm trying to see the comparison. Bit less armor, but they have more speed. I think they don't have the formation though, but I wonder if I'd just rather have two of those. Yeah, we'll have some manpower to win for our troops. And this is pretty much it. And Lydia is dead. 
I guess we'll have to go at war also with the Bithynians at this point. Anyway, they don't, uh, they don't want to have any treaties with us, so we could take those settlements. Good news is now we don't have any wars going on close to our borders instead of in the, uh, except Rodos. So maybe we'll have to focus on Rodos, take them, then take them out. And then we will unify our province by going at war with the Bithynians. They are going back. It's fine. It's really fine. So maybe I will just ambush over here and bring those troops over there. And after and then the next part we'll just have to wait for Rodos to ambush them. And if we can destroy that army, now they will be very vulnerable to us going on the sea and take them. Oh yes, that would be great. Uh, Alright, so there's some history things if you want to read it. Let's try to go in a ambush stance. I guess we have no choice but to be in the kind of the grass to ambush. March. It's not the best, but Is that all? I guess we'll try our luck. Alright, let's go there. Give some troops. Make haste, men. And we'll start moving back. Get to it, men. Right, purple color is looking great. This is fantastic. And... Alright, everything is good, looking good. So, we don't have much, but in this part we managed to take uh, Ephesus, the settlements over here. Sadly, we uh, we weren't able to take it before the Bithynians rushed it. So, right now we will have to take Rodos out to kind of unify uh, partially our, our first province in Asia. And afterwards, we'll rush the Bithynians and try to take back that settlement that should be ours. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to let me know any comments or anything like that to improve the content. Everything is quite useful to me. And especially if it can make it more enjoyable for you. So uh, feel free to leave a like or any comments on anything that we can improve. So thank you everyone for watching. I wish you a nice day and I'll see you in the next one.